we're going to draw the Lewis structure of SF6. Now, sulfur and fluorine are both above and to the right of the staircase on the periodic table, which means they're both non-metals. That means when they combine, they're going to make a molecular compound, and that means they're going to share electrons. This is different from an ionic compound where there would be a transfer from one to the other. The way I draw the Lewis structure for molecular compounds is to first count the number of valence electrons that we're going to have. Sulfur, here in group 16 of the periodic table, will bring six electrons, and fluorine in group 17 will bring seven valence electrons, but there are six of them. So that's seven times the six fluorines. Plus the extra six gives us 48 electrons total. Now what I do next is I put one of the atoms, usually the one that can make the most bonds, and fluorine likes to have just one bond. Sulfur can accommodate up to six. I put that in the center and then surround it with the other atoms. So I'm gonna have my S in the center. You probably could have guessed that. And then put my six Fs around it. I connect the central atom with the outer atoms with single bonds only to start. Two, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. But the number of electrons that are here are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Next, I fill the octet of the outer atoms. The octet rule says each atom wants eight electrons total. Each of these fluorines only have two electrons around it each right now. This fluorine needs eight. So there's number three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Same with this one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Now I really should have been counting because sometimes you're gonna run out of electrons before you fill the octets on the outer atoms. I need 48 total. I have eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Okay, I have the 48 that I need, so I'm not gonna add any more or take any away from this. Now, the, the final step is that if the octet on the central atom is not yet complete, as in if you don't have eight electrons around the sulfur already, you're going to have to move some of these lone pairs to become double or triple bonds. Now, sulfur is an exception to the octet rule. It can actually accommodate up to 12 valence electrons, aka six bonds, which is what we have here. It is what we call an octet rule exception. Sometimes it has just eight valence electrons around it. Sometimes it has 10, and sometimes it can have up to 12. I've never seen more than 12 personally, and here we are. Congratulations, you've got your Lewis structure for sulfur hexafluoride SF6, and you were happy while you were doing it. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.